Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, and today I'm reviewing the latest in LED lighting by the Cree Company. They've made a light bulb that's actually affordable, about $10, and that gives you the equivalent of 60 watts of uh, light, like you would see in an incandescent bulb. They have two varieties of it. There's the, um, the warm, maybe slightly yellowish light that you use to, if you, some people just prefer that, it makes your skin look a little nicer. And then there's the really bright white with maybe the slightest bluish tint that's very bright and it lets you see everything that's there. So they have both kind of bulbs available. Um, these just came out, they have them at Home Depot now. It's probably the only place you can find them locally at the moment, but uh, they're available online too. So I've put a link down below in the description, right below this video. Take a look at that. If you don't have a Home Depot nearby or if they're already sold out and you'd like to try out these bulbs, these are the latest in high efficiency, though they uh, put out about 60 watts of lightness, they actually only use uh, nine, nine and nine and a half watts of power. So they're similar to the compact fluorescents like that, you know, the good old compact fluorescent bulbs that um, pretty much were going to be your only choice once the incandescents are no longer available, which will be pretty soon because they don't meet efficiency standards. All you're going to have left really was your compact fluorescents. These though have mercury in them. If you've used them, you know that sometimes they flicker. They, um, they tend to get yellowish when they get older and uh, they last about three to five years. They've been a pretty good deal for saving power, but a lot of people didn't care for the light from them. I guess it reminded them of being in the office or being in school with those big fluorescent tubes up above. Well, anyway, now you have another choice, and it's uh, an affordable LED bulb. These are supposed to last 22 years, so I don't know that I'll, my bulb will still be burning to do a follow-up review in 22 years, but if so, I'll let you know if they're still working. I'm going to take these into a bathroom where we have uh, two ceiling... Uh, fixtures so that I can plug them in and compare them and I'll also compare them to the compact fluorescent and to uh, 60 watt incandescent so you can see what the different light looks like, how bright it is and if it's a color that you think you might like. But they're cheap enough now you can actually go pick up one or two and see and if uh, they are something you like you could replace all the lights in your house not have to replace another bulb for 22 years. Anyway, let's head over to a darkened room and see what these look like. All right, here's our test chamber, a uh, darkened room with uh, two ceiling fixtures. Now normally we have the glass um, globes that fit over them, but for at first I'm just gonna try them out with just the bulbs and when I get the, the uh, LEDs in there, I'll put the globes over them so you can see what it would look like in actual use. This is what we have in here right now. We have one incandescent and one 60 watt equivalent compact fluorescent. So both of these are supposed to be about 60 watts of power and they definitely have that yellowish tint to them. So I'm going to take them out, put in the LEDs, and show you what they look like. Okay, I got the LED lights in. Over here on the left is the one that's considered a daylight bulb with a 3, 000, uh, 5,000 Kelvin temperature. And over here is the warmer bulb that has that little bit of yellowish tint at 2,700 Kelvin. So I'm going to turn them on. And whoa! Now all the dust and everything's going to show. Um, I think you can tell these are much brighter than the bulbs that were in there. And I'm sure you can also see clearly which one is the daylight bright white bulb and which one is the warm, more yellowish bulb. So that, that's a lot of light for 60 watts. I mean, that definitely illuminates the room. And if you're working here at the mirror, this would show you everything you want to see or don't want to see in any case. Um, much better than the bulbs that I had in there before. Okay, most people aren't going to have a naked bulb hanging um, in their room. So in this bathroom here, these come with these globes, which I've now put over the bulbs. So you can see with a more diffuse light what it looks like. I'll show you me here under the bluish white light. Look a little ghostly. And then over here under the yellow light. All right, if you, if you like this bright white light, then um, this is, there's really no comparison to the compact fluorescent or even the incandescent that I had before. They're so yellowish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this LED bulb in here and then I'm going to change out this uh, bright white one with first the incandescent bulb and then the compact fluorescent and let you compare that to the warm yellowish LED. Okay, this is incandescent 60 watt versus LED light 60 watt equivalent. Um, I would say pretty similar in brightness. 
The incandescent, I would say, is the tiniest, mm, tiniest bit yellower, maybe. Boy, they're pretty much identical. If you like having uh, this kind of light in your bathroom, this is like the, the perfect match, for, perfect replacement for an incandescent because it's almost indistinguishable except it uses so much less electricity. All right, time to compare the warm LED to the 60 watt replacement compact fluorescent. I want to show you it starting up. It always does that a couple flickers and then it's finally ready to go. Now, if you look at the lightness of that, the brightness rather, versus the LED over here, I think you can see we're getting a good deal more light out of the LED bulb than out of the compact fluorescent. As for yellowness, I would say the compact fluorescent is actually yellower, maybe a little too yellow, but it depends what you like. So that's what these lights look like, the kind of light that they put out. And if you ask me, it's pretty good. I think the highest compliment you can pay a high efficiency bulb is that it's almost indistinguishable from the old incandescent bulbs because that's the light a lot of people are looking for. So again, you have two choices with this Cree LED bulb. You have the one that does have that soft, warm, yellowish tint, and then you have the bright white one that if you really need to see what you're doing, that's the one that you want to get. They're both a little over $10 at Home Depot, and they'll probably come down in price as more people buy them. Supposedly, this is going to be the model that will make the LED lighting go mainstream for people. It's finally cheap enough, the light is good enough looking, it lasts so long, it's actually dimmable. You can put these in a, where there are dimmer switches, so so many improvements over the uh, compact fluorescent technology. Again, they have them at Home Depot. If you don't have a Home Depot or they don't have them there, take a look at the link down below and check these out. These are really good bulbs.